Imagine growing up thinking that you were one thing only to discover that you're not that at all. Well, that's the story of our next guest, Taylor, who appeared on my show on the Hey Steve segment a few months ago. Uh, she sought out my advice on a tough decision about approaching her birth father. Let's take a look. So my question to you is, what's the best way for me to approach a potential father without disrespecting his current situation? I do understand you're want wanting to be connected to something. You want to know where you're from. You want to meet your dad. I, it's a lot of people like that. I really feel for you. But you are not a mistake. See, God, when he put these two people together, it was for the full intent that you be born. So let's start just with a letter so you don't get hurt. We, we, we can help you with that part. I would appreciate it so much. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So wh wh why do you think people are so interested in your story? After that segment came out, I had so much positive feedback. People saying, hey, thank you so much for telling your story. I have the exact same thing going on in my life, or my mom experienced that, or I just found my dad. And so I, have, I haven't even gotten through half of them, Steve. Your idea was you were gonna walk up to his house. What happened after you left the show? Well, I took your advice. I did not walk up to his house, thank God. I wrote a letter, and I did not mail that letter, but I did write a letter, and I uh, tried to prepare myself mentally to deal with the rejection that could be possibly there, so that's why I didn't really send it off yet. But um, since then, I've had a lot of support from family members who've seen it, and then some who are not so supportive, wondering why I went this route to publicly, you know, put myself out there. See, the little bit of negative that you get, you have to, you have to ignore that, because the, the thing about hate is, hate is louder than love. Right. But love is stronger. Yeah. You got to understand that. How, how long have you been searching for your birth father? I've been searching for my birth father since about 2007, so... Originally, I grew up with this man that I talked to about before, who I had really grew up hating him and resenting him for not being in my life because his family was white and they didn't really want a lot to do with me because of the fact that I was black. So dealing with that already, I already was traumatized. Okay, but he's not your actual birth father. He's not my actual birth father. So in the middle of me searching for my citizenship, because I'm from the Bahamas, I had to have a sponsor. So when it came down to it, I needed two birth parents from the U.S. I found this guy who wasn't really around. He found me on Facebook, another guy. We took a test. He was not the father. My mom briefly mentioned in 2007 that there was a possibility of one other person. So I asked my mom his name. She told me his name. I looked him up online. I found some photos, and I said, hey, mom, is this the guy? She said, yeah, that's the guy. I said, okay, well, at least I can go off of that. So I decided to friend him. He accepted the request, but he did not respond to the messages. So I took it upon myself to message every single person in his friends list and ask them if they knew him and that I was looking for him. One person responded, I haven't seen him in years, but I'll get you back. I haven't heard from her in a really long time. Okay, so I told you that I'd try to help you. And so I reached out to an investigative genetic genealogist and uh, who's also the founder of the DNA Detectives and is considered to be an innovator in the use of autosomal DNA. Please welcome C.C. Moore. <laughs> Hi, C.C., how are you? Great, thanks okay, for having Okay, so me. tell me, what's your process for helping someone find his or her birth parent? Before approaching a potential birth parent, we believe very strongly in getting DNA confirmation first. So we have gotten you DNA tested, as you know, and when we are able to analyze those results, we'll be looking at his family tree compared to the family trees of the people that are sharing DNA with you. And then we can just follow those and it'll lead us right to your real biological father. You've taken the test. Yes. So the DNA test is done. After the break, we're gonna find out if the man that Taylor suspects is really her father. We'll do that when we come back right after this. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.